What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to give you another Copic tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to color in lava. For this tutorial you're going to need only four colors. You're going to need Y38, YR04, uh, YR07, and YR09. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're going to set the three shades off to the side. And what we're going to use for the base color, we're going to use a Y38. So what we're going to do, I'm going to speed through this thing because it's going to take a while for this big area. So this is going to be the base color. Since most of the lava is going to be orange, I'd rather just use like a lighter orange to kind of like be the base color of this entire thing. So I'm going to speed through this thing and then we'll continue. Okay, now that we got the base color in place, we can go on and start adding our midtones. So I'm gonna grab YR04 and start adding shades uh, around the entire uh, around the entire lava pool. And there's no need to be uh, thorough about it either, so we can just keep adding uh, shades. We're basically mapping out where the actual shades are going to be just by adding our mid-tone. And when doing the mid-tone, you can add like a big, you can add a big layer of ink to the mid-tone to actually figure out where the shade shades are going to be. You can add mid-tones to both sides of these, uh, of where the lava is dripping. So right here, this big area, I'm going to add it here. And I'm going to add some here. And then the shading is going to be on this side, so I'm going to apply more ink to this side. And that's where we're going to add uh, our other mid-tone and the dark tone. And add more shading this way. I'm trying not to overdo the shading on this side. Okay, and then before we go to add our second mid-tone, we got to go back with our base color and kind of blend those in. Because uh, if you're adding a base tone and you see streaks in the paper, you might want to get rid of those. Even though you'll be going back again, you just want to make sure you get, get rid of those so it would be easier um, later on. But only uh, you're only doing that to uh, kind of blend the mid-tone so as you can see this air this area right here it doesn't have streaks in it but um, if it does you're gonna want to go back in here as you're blending this mid-tone into the base color and that's mostly how Copic blending works And um, you're probably not seeing too much of a blend. That's because we haven't applied any more of our uh, any more of our marker inks yet. But um, in the end, you'll see a much bigger difference. But um, as you're doing this, you'll start to see a whole bunch of uh, a little bit more of a gradient. I don't know if you can see uh, see it on camera, but this is this is what you're gonna see when you're doing this tutorial. You start to see more of a gradient on like basically step two, and step two is applying your first midtone. Okay, now that we got oops, I forgot this part. Okay. And now that we go at our second midtone, which is YR07, keeping in mind where the shading is, and yet the shading is over on this side. So we're gonna add. We're not gonna add too much on this side, only if it requires it. But since it's, since this color is like a very deep red, sorry, a very uh, saturated red, we're not gonna apply. Um, we're not gonna apply too much on this side of the lava pools, as you can see here. But we're, go we're going to add some over here just so it kind of stands out. And then add some more over this way. 
way. But not too much, because you don't want to keep going back and then uh, eventually making your paper bleed on the next paper or on your desk, because you don't want to add too much inks at one time, you know? And then add some over on this side. And on this side too. Okay, and what I mean by, uh, by adding too much inks, you're going to want to go back and blend this red in with your second mid-tone. Sorry, your first mid-tone, I mean. And then after you do that, you're going to have to go back in with your base color and then uh, do it over again, kind of. Let's see. And it's best to go on a circular motion so you don't end up having to deal with streaks too much. And this is for Copic blending in general again. So as you can see, you're getting a blend here, but you're starting to see more streaks going into the base color like last time. So just be mindful of that when you're doing tutorials like this. And then when you go back in with your base color, you don't need to necessarily uh, color in the entire thing over again. Just only try to blend those shades back into the base color that you put down originally. And see, I would have colored in this, this entire thing, but like I said earlier, you don't want to apply too much ink to the paper because that'll make it kind of bleed and you don't really want that. you're seeing streaks like this if you see the streaks from your uh, from your first mid-tone going into the base color go in a circular motion to blend those out and do the same thing over here and when you're applying this mid-tone again you don't want to apply it to uh, your second mid-tone because um, when you apply it to your second mid-tone it will kind of like um, that, that, uh, your base color will kind of like take its place and you'll start to see more of like a, more of your mid-tone, sorry, you'll start to see more of your base tone in the, in the shade you just put down and you don't really want that because it'll mess up your coloring and you don't really want that either. So just keep in mind when you're doing that. See, if I were to go here, I would... If I were to like go on top with this uh with my base color on top of this dark tone, then you will kind of like mess up the shading a little bit. But um you should only do it only when your piece requires it. But um yeah, just keep that in mind. You don't really you don't really want to mess up your coloring. And then for YR09, this is our darkest tone. Only only go over the parts that require it like here and don't try to go too uh too much with it because then you'll have to go back and do almost every step over again when you're trying to use your second mid-tone to blend this and then your your first mid-tone to blend that out too and then your base tone again because um if you ask me it's kind of like wasting ink only uh just color with consideration when you're doing stuff like this Just like, um, see this darkest tone, I only go with, uh, with the parts that require a dark shading, like, like this part here. I don't want to apply too much that'll require me to go back and do every step over again. So I'm going back with my, uh, my second mid-tone. And sort of coloring, blending, I meant blending that in with everything else. And try to stop there with your uh, with your second mid-tone, I mean your first mid-tone. Try to stop there and keep going. And then go back and do the same thing. So with your goal on like this second to last step of doing this lava tutorial, try not to go back to doing your base color. 
because you kind of just applied it like th twice already, twice or three times, which is uh, sometimes unnecessary. And see. So you'll kind of need your base color in the end. Only for like blending in last minute parts like right here. There's a line, there's a streak. So just want to blend that out. Want to blend that out too. And then right here, anywhere else that has streaks in your base color that you applied at the beginning, you want to get rid of that. But try to go as lightly as possible so you won't waste too much marker ink. And then for the last part, you can go in with your darkest tone for the lava and you can just add brush strokes because lava is liquid it doesn't have a definite shape so you can add like lava waves or whatever lava ripples and then some more details with the darkest tone because it's darker than everything else and if you were to apply this to like the mid tone you'd be you'd see it a little bit which is uh, which is essential in this case, and then you are done. So that is your Copic Lava tutorial. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a like and a comment. So I'll see you all in my next video. I